This is the tiny little QRP transmitter that I built. And this is the Hunter Valley SDR on CW filter. We're going to send out one last CQ call, see if someone answers. Well, we've been wondering why um, reception's been terrible. And, you know, even on nights where 3.5 meg was supposed to be open, I couldn't get very much. Well, that is the, uh, the antenna spigot for my Anan. And I don't know if you can see that, um, but uh, that's where the antenna's supposed to be connected. <laughs> that's what's happened. So basically, we had very small amount of capacitance coupling to the antenna. So I was basically using the antenna tuner and the transmission line, which is not designed to receive signals. So it's amazing that I was able to receive anything. Well, um, after sorting out my antenna issues that I had, we're tuned up on 80 meters now, probably like five or 600 milliwatts. And we are on Kiwi SDR. We've got the key ready. Got some paper to write down a call sign. Let's give it a crack. It's a little bit disconcerting the delay which I'm gonna to have to make sure I don't listen to. Maybe put some headphones on while I'm sending so I can't actually hear it. Because <laughs> it's, uh, it's making life difficult. We're on uh, Queensland here. Uh, so this is a software defined radio. It says there that uh, I've broken antennas and I'm waiting repair. Um, Gladstone, Queensland, but you can actually, even with the broken, broken um, antennas, so you can't see it on the, uh, the waterfall, but uh, I am getting into Gladstone, uh, Queensland. That's my signal there. Cardiff, New South Wales. This is uh, Lake Macquarie. And you can hear that. South Sydney doesn't seem to work. Let's see if we can uh, work Canberra. It's on the CW filter at the moment, which is probably all right. Let's have a listen. Not hearing much. Well, I've got to say, um, I am very excited. I, know, I get excited very easily. This is the tiny little QRP transmitter that I built. It's obviously not as exciting as the QRP, OzQRP transceiver that I'm building at the moment, the DCT, which has a digital VFO and but well in a way it is more exciting because because this little two transistor crystal locked transmitter was able to transmit from Sydney to a number of places in New South Wales now up until now I've been thinking that uh, nothing was working and that's probably because well because nothing was working was actually trying to get receivers to work when I was actually listening to basically a piece of transmission line and maybe a bit of the uh, the counterpoise uh, because my un un my unbalanced to unbalanced transformer uh, which is 49 to 1 which is designed to match the impedance at the end of the antenna the end fed was disconnected basically the solder joint failed and it was very badly soldered and, and you know, stuff that I should know. 
And anyway, we didn't have an antenna. So now the antenna's connected. This bad boy, which consumes about 2.4 watts of power. So we can assume that, you know, what it's getting out to the antenna is probably less than a watt. There's less than a watt of power going to the antenna. Think about that, folks, that tiny little bit of signal that gets out to that antenna, which is not a fantastic antenna. It's quite low, it's next to metal roofs, etc., etc. And with that small amount of power, I'm able to, I would have been able to QSO with people uh, in the Hunter Valley, in Foster, places like that. So New South Wales, uh, and maybe further than that. So it's, it's exciting for me to see something actually work. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any frequency agility. And that's the next thing I'm gonna do. The idea is, oh look, I'm gonna take the phone and I'm gonna show you what my plans are. It's that part of the video where I am going to ask you to please reach down and uh, hit that subscribe button. And this is my homebrew Morse key shirt to commemorate this uh, momentous occasion of making a transmission on my two transistor QRP transmitter. So please, if you want to support the channel, uh, jump on the link below and you can uh, buy this design and a multitude of products, so including hats and, uh, and shirts and all sorts of stuff. So please support the channel and um, hit like and subscribe and make me really happy and buy a shirt. Uh, that's my um, key. There's a video on how to make this, how I made it. It's not really a how-to, but it'll show you, you know, some rough idea of how it was done on my channel, so go to the links below. This is my direct conversion receiver, which is also in some videos. Originally, it's an Alan Yates design with some modifications and, you know, the uh, actual amplifier on his wasn't an uh, LM386 amplifier, but I've used the amplifier that was on the Pixie. So that's the amplifier that's on the Pixie transceiver, the audio amplifier for my little QRP transmitter. That's actually the Pixie transmitter without the receiving stages. So even my failures have resulted in some form of success. So the plan is to take this variable frequency oscillator, which is a v VXO basically, it's got a ceramic resonator and I can pull it about 30 or 40 um, kilohertz. That's gonna be connected to the transmitter. Hopefully that works. So I've got some frequency agility on the transmitter. And then you're saying, well, what's gonna happen with the receiver? I'll show you. The receiver is going to have this beautiful little variable frequency um, oscillator that's a DDS, it's a digital um, data synthesis VFO. So it's a digital VFO. It'll have a little display, and this is the encoder that'll change frequency. And so I'll have, I should have a working um, 3.5 megahertz receiver which, which will receive most of the, um, if not all of the 80 meter band. So they're my latest adventures in the shack. Like I said, for most people, most normal people, that's not gonna be exciting news. For me, for me it's, it's groundbreaking. In the past I've home brewed things like antenna tuners and antennas. I've never managed to get a receiver and a transmitter working. So I'd like to say now um, I've got a DCT Oz, QRP transceiver that's ready to go virtually, I just have to do the calibration. And But I, what I really like to do is get that little two transistor unit um, up and running and do a QSO on it. So, if you're watching this and you're an amateur in VK2 land, not too far from Sydney, I'd really like to give it a crack. I'm on the color burst frequency, 3579.5. Can't go anywhere, so you'll have to uh, come up and meet me. If you're not a, um, a CW operator, hey, jump up there. It can also be used for SSB and just um, QSL that you're getting the signal. If, you don't, if you're uncomfortable doing a Morse transmission, I just want to um, get a two-way contact on this uh, on this transmitter. At the moment, as you saw, I don't have a working receiver, so I will be using 
one of those SDR radios uh, to listen. And um, yes, there will be a mixture of high tech slash low tech um, to make the QSO happen. Anyway, that's the sort of play that I'd like to, to be, be doing on, on air in the near future. So it's 73 from me. Thank you for watching and please comment below, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. This is going to be a short one.